Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to part six of Deadly Premonition. Um, so sorry I had to interrupt the other one. You know, we were about to get somewhere, but you know, I like to keep these under 20 minutes. So you know, just I'm sorry. We were about to talk to the doctor, but I had to go and interrupt it. So you know, we're back. And you know, the investigation. Oh, God damn it! Okay. Town in the boondocks again. Maybe I should just do really, really long, really long, long play. So I don't have to keep listening to this. It, Thanks. That's you told me that the first, second, third, and fourth time. Do you feel it, Zach? Zach, buddy, and the coffee. God, man. <laughs> Another running gag. Is this gonna be it? I swear, it's just gonna keep showing that over and over. That's gonna be my introduction to these videos. That may as well be the introduction, guys. I mean, I don't even need to say anything. Uh, all right. So we're gonna go. Yeah, talk to Mr. Doctor Person. We couldn't just go through the other door that was conveniently closer, but, you know. Ow. This typing is loud. Oh, sure. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ah, you made it. You. Let's get when did those two get we? here? Whoa, sup, buddy? He looks like a friend of mine. Holy this shit. Is Agent Morgan I'm not kidding, FBI. guys. He even wears glasses like that, too. <laughs> what mm, nice fuck? to meet you. I'm Usher Johnson, the doctor in this hospital. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Give him the line. Please call me York. Everyone calls me that. <laughs> it's the line. Yeah, I'm shaking sure, my head uh, with her too. Agent York. <laughs> Are you a forensic practitioner? Let's just say I've dealt with corpses before. That battle of wits, by the way. Did you create that yourself? Mm-hmm. I just wanted to <laughs> Two see. Two smart if guys our talking. FBI you you wouldn't understand, George. <laughs> I see. Well, it was pretty fun. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. We're talking right next to a dead body. Can we save this for another time? <laughs> we don't have much time. We need those autopsy results. Hey, man, we're just having fun. Wait, interrupt us again. God, first Thomas, and now this. Next time, try challenging us without obstructing an investigation. Good tip. You've angered the monarch. <laughs> that face. I'll keep that in mind next time. From the onset of rigor mortis, the stiffening of the muscles, oh, great. The anatomy and physiology, it's all coming back now. 20 and 2200 hours. What is this, uh, the military, just say 11 o'clock, or 12 o'clock, or 10 o'clock? Note that there are two exterior wounds, pressure marks around the neck, and a long cut running from chest to abdomen. And blood marks on her right hand tell us she was gripping something round in her right hand. Why is everyone looking at their hands? <laughs> it was all of us. We're all the, the culprit. <laughs> also fractured, but that is unrelated to the cause of death. It probably happened to her after she. Yeah, was it was killed. tough work getting her on that tree, I guess. Now, I first thought death by suffocation, due to the marks on her neck. But after further investigation, are they bruising or is it lacerations? I now you have didn't a talk about that. Conclusion. Uh, tell us, sir. The direct cause of death was loss of blood from the wound. So, not trauma. Okay. I don't know, I'm just spouting stuff from my anatomy and physiology class. Which means... Slash forensic science class. She was cut up while she was still alive. Oh, that's... That's strong, buddy. Yes, uh, a sharp knife was used. It was inserted... Okay, we don't need to see hand movements. Downwards. We get the picture. We get the, the picture. The excessive loss of blood from her internal organs is what actually killed her. Yeah, it's her nails not great. are clean, and with no skin cells from the attacker. Nope, didn't fight back. She also doesn't appear to have been bound nor badly beaten. So completely out of the blue. She was apparently killed without resistance. What? <laughs> the most tragic thing, however. Not like everything else wasn't tragic, she tragic was enough. She was unable to speak her story to anyone who could hear her cries. Well, no, she was kind of dead, so I wouldn't imagine she would talk. Unless this is Resident Evil 5.1 and there are zombies. The perpetrator cut out Anna's tongue. What? Oh, okay, I was I completely she was off. Drugged first. It was completely off on that one. And then the killer killed her. 
Don't play this tacky music in the background when we're talking about a murder, please. He has a deep, traumatized past concerning women. So, he parental probably abuse? probably cannot converse with them normally. Cutting out the tongue suggests a very lonely individual. Either this music doesn't fit the scenario at all. <laughs> Awkward around women. Thomas? You must get off on watching women suffer. Thomas. Especially when they can't answer back. Squirrel boy. Now he watched as the blood pumped from her body. As she gradually grew cold. How did you, how would you know this, uh, sir? In Seattle in oh, okay, here's supporting evidence. Usher, please, limit your report to your findings as a doctor. Yeah, I'm the FBI Criminal agent. Profiling is my job. Yeah, don't put me out of business, buddy. <laughs> you know, a little too much to be just a doctor. You're wrong, you also. Oh! Anna died fully, deeply, painfully aware of what was happening to her. But, yeah, let the, let the professional talk. Tell me, what time did it stop raining on the night Anna was killed? Uh, just before I went to bed. Right after the movie on TV ended, so... Around 1 a.m.? What movie? You stay up late. An American Werewolf in London. What? <laughs> Directed by John Landis, 1981. So the rain stopped, accompanied by the ending song, Blue Moon. George, would you mind if I examined Anna myself? Yeah, get out of the room, Mr. What Ruin everything. What do you hope to find? I'm sure I mentioned that I have a personal interest in cases like these. Look. Okay, I can look anywhere? What are you doing? No, t tap, tapping, tapping your body is, is York's thing. Don't, don't get any ideas. Okay. Hey. She must have cried. So that's mascara. I thought that was blood or... Okay, not nearly as creepy. Okay, so that's where she was holding something. It's kind of like Wolf Among Us, a little bit. When I was like looking at the body that one time of that one episode. Of that one video. She's neatly wearing fake fingernails. Thanks for telling us that. Beautiful blonde hair, stunning even in death. Okay, you're getting a little creepy, York. Uh, tongue, wait, wait, I, I missed that. No, wait, I didn't get to read it. God damn it. Okay, I know it was about the tongue, but you already told us about that. From her lack of resistance, I'd say that Anna's injuries happened very quickly. Unable to speak, she was then left to cry herself to death. Oh, this is super depressing. <laughs> Zack, it's all starting to come together. Stop talking to Zack! Ruin the, the mood. Traitor stayed with her for at least two hours until it stopped raining. How did at you notice? At the estimated time of her death, it was still raining. Oh yeah, because like the estimated time between her death. see tear marks on her cheeks. That means she was killed under a roof somewhere. Hmm. She was then carried into the woods after it stopped raining. Hmm. And then put on a tree for everyone to There's see. one other thing. Her tongue was removed with... Oh, blunt knife. In fact, it's more likely it was simply chopped off. Okay. Also, are you a passionate man? Well, not particularly, I mean, but I am man enough should the moment call for it. George, how about you? Yeah, how about you, George? Yes. Especially when it comes to women. Okay. I see what that has to do with anything. George, the perpetrator is just like you. <gasps> Are you implying something, York? <laughs> He's a passionate kisser. This was a kiss of death. Ah, the perpetrator. Bit off honest. Oh, that's worse than I could ever imagine. Fuck. Never get a dental print from a wound like this. But this is still a big lead. That's messed up. I did not need to hear that. Oh, I can't get the images out of my head. Oh. What are you looking at? Okay. Okay. Bad noises. <laughs> and this is like a day, so. Jack, Jack. Shame, but our old-time all-American sightseeing tour just came to an end. 
This oh, case it's the is same. now under the jurisdiction of the FBI. I'm assuming command. Uh -huh, I'll you to assist me in the investigation. What in the hell do you mean, Agent Morgan? Gotta take the back you know seat, George. It, but you can't think I did this. I'm implying that. That's not why I'm assuming command, George. You're a suspect just as much as every other passionate man on Earth. Let me show you something. <gasps> the fourth victim. Holding up the finger. What? <laughs> oh my god! What? How many victims are there? There you go. Amazing, huh? I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but most of the details are top secret. Well, okay, it's not the first George, woman he's Emily, we should be going. Been too extreme with. No need to stay here any longer. Okay. I have to sign the release. Just give me a moment. Oh, where's Ooh. that staunchy attitude from before? I'll go on ahead. I can't take it any longer down here. Plus, I gotta get a smoke in, you know. Don't smoke, kids! Bishop takes queen. His rook takes your queen. Then your knight takes rook. And checkmate. Huh? Huh? Oh. oh! A smart person, finally! Oh, he was playing a game My in the morgue. Victory in the Grandmaster ranking. There's nothing on the board. What? Okay. Hacks. <laughs> there wasn't even anything on the board. I don't understand this game. Whoa! Why is there all that York? Might want to turn around, buddy. Hmm? Buddy, you didn't notice that? Oh. <sighs> Yeah. Okay. Smoking for later. Sick, they're here. <laughs> that face. He's so angry. Okie dokie. What about everyone else in the room? We gotta kind of get them. Do I just leave them or? I can take out my gun. Can I shoot this thing? What? I didn't mean to do that, sorry. What? Where is the... Oh, he's on the other side? No? Yes? It made a sound. Why did it make a sound? <laughs> it freaked the fuck out of me, why? Okay, I guess we're going in here. Isn't this where the morgue is? Or where we just were? But now no one's here? What? Oh, damn it. Okay, we're going into the body room. What? What? Oh, there are black spots on the ground. What the fuck was that? Alright. Wait for me, Anna. I'm coming. Shut up, please. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Shut up. This is fucked. Stop talking! Oh. I, why would I need ammo? I have unlimited ammo. I have unlimited bullets. Why would I need 10 millimeter ammo? Oh, can I shoot through this thing? Nope, apparently not. I gotta go through the door. Shit. Stop frolicking! This is not the time! Okay, this is- Now you can act- Now you can look around the corners. Now it makes sense, York. I'm fucking off. Ooh, bullet. Why do you have to- Okay. I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna shoot you. Oh, shit! Okay. Turning around, turning around. Oh! Why do you have to bend backwards? You don't have to. Okay, this is kind of creepy now. Because you're creepy, that's why. Sorry. 
and you all sound the same. Because apparently the budget was too small to incorporate different voices. Uh, I knew it! Creepy, creepy hospital setting. It was gonna happen. Bound to happen. I knew it. Shit. Okay, can't go through there. Uh, I bet this is all just one huge hallucination. Okay, medallion. Save me! Yeah, I'm Agent Honor. Stroke the ego. Oh, shit. Okay, please don't. I knew it! I knew it! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I have a headshot for you. What? Yeah. Oh, shut up. I hate oh, oh, oh. Headshot. Headshot. Thank you, unlimited ammo. Okay, 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 okay. You're not turning around this time? What's up with that? They had to turn around in order to confront me. Why are these boxes red now? I don't understand. Okay, maybe I'm supposed to like... Maybe I could have like blocked them off if I had known prior, but then you'd have to cheat. I'm no cheater. Okay, don't understand. Can I still go in here? Oh, a bathroom in a horror game. <laughs> All right, YOLO, let's go. <laughs> don't ever do this in a horror movie scenario. This is like bad idea written all over it. Oh shit. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, there's actually something in here now. What is this? Stabilizer. Okay, I don't care what sh what shit you use in the bathroom. You don't ever in a horror movie scenario, don't ever go in the bathroom. Who's making the sound? I swear I heard someone. Okay, I can't open that stall. I hear something. Seriously, I hear something like shuffling whenever I'm Oh, please don't respawn after I, I leave. Okay, good, it doesn't. <laughs> Whew! Alright, that was a little scary. Do I go up the stairs or can I go in here? Okay, no, I have to go upstairs. Shit. Draw the gun. Let's go, Agent Honor. Okay. Okay. Watch the. Oh, watch those corners. <laughs> Headshot! Headshot! God damn, this is so fucking creepy. It's it's pretty dark right now too, so that also adds to the to the effect a little bit. Shit. Oh no. Okay, why does she bend backwards but the other one doesn't? Okay, good to know. Oh god. How do I get out of here? Okay. Don't cry, please. Don't do that in a horror. I should probably observe it just to be sure. It's the worst. There's a medallion on their side, and I want it. <laughs> Shit. Corners in a horror game. What? 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 Oh god! Okay, okay, hey buddy. Oh, nope, nope, don't do that shit. Oh! Okay, don't do any of that. Got too close for comfort there. Oh shit, stop respawning! One bullshit like that. Don't want bullshit like that. I hate it when they do that. Oh, can I get that long shot? Can I get that long shot? Nope. Nope. Okay, apparently you can't shoot more than 10 feet in front of you. That's great. Headshot! Amazing. Amazing! I am. Thank you, Morgan. I mean, yeah, thank you, Mr. York. Who is crying? Stop crying. It's creepy. Stop it, please. Okay, shit. This game actually got creepy for once. Uh, please, fall over. Okay. We're gonna have to kill all these guys eventually, so I may as well just get it over with. Oh, headshot! Woo! Double headshot! 
Alright, let's see what's in this. I should probably observe. They're operating with someone? Oh, God. Oh, why am I doing this? This is a horrible idea. What? No, don't, no, don't make me check that. Why is this a good idea? Okay, coffee, give it to me. Straight black coffee. Just how I like the coffee, I don't never drink. Okay. Uh, no! No! Don't look underneath! No! 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 Ah, I'm covering my face. What? 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 Okay. Okay. Please don't have them spawn in here after I just did that. Shit, I knew it! I knew it! I fucking knew it! Fucking knew it! I knew it! Ah, uh, this is so creepy. Ah, uh, I knew they were gonna do that. I can't take this. I can't take this. Oh, this is intense now. It took long enough. God damn. This is what? Part six? Seven? I don't know. Okay. What, what was next on the list? Down there? Okay. It's good they don't respond. I'm happy they don't respond. That, that makes me happy. What was back there though? Wait, wait. Might regret this. Never. Okay. Just. Okay. I've I guess I would have to push that out of the way to get through, but I have unlimited ammo, so I don't see why I would just wouldn't shoot everything. Shit, I forgot to do the card key. Ugh, attention to detail. That is this game. That is deadly premonition. Ow, the beep is so loud. Ah, nice little chime. I feel like a winner after hearing that. Okay, take out the gun. Oh boy, alright, alright, okay. At what? How am I supposed to get past this? Oh, okay, there's a door over here. Duh! Oh, God, no! Oh, this is bullshit. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna save. Oh, my God. Thank you, please. Ugh. Best place to save ever in a freaking worn down. <laughs> freaking sketchy, scary, whacked out hospital room. This is great. Uh, I'm going to love spawning in here next round. But anyway, guys, uh, thanks again for tuning in. Um, I really do appreciate you guys sticking in with this. Um, the game finally got good. I'm finally getting some scares, getting some chills. And, you know, I'm actually kind of enjoying this game now. You know, I'm shooting them up, all those shadow things or whatever. But anyway, guys, thanks again for sticking around. You know, like I said, I appreciate the support. And, you know, for you guys watching this series and, you know, everything else. And, like always, guys, have an awesome day. I will see you guys in the next video.